Welcome to the workshop. I'm Ron. Today, I'd like to talk about the importance of cable comics. One item quite often left out during a restoration are cable grommets. Partly because they're very difficult to install and partly because they're quite difficult to find. If we take a closer look at these two lamps, you can see this one has an original grommet. If we take a closer look at the original grommets, you can see that they've become quite brittle. The rubber over time loses its elasticity and begins to get quite hard. So when you get to this point, it really needs to be replaced. Here are two grommets. On this side is the original quite brittle one. And this is the new replacement. You can see it's actually very soft. Now with grommets, there's two things to remember. There's the inside diameter, which is the side of the hole, and the outside diameter. Depending on the size of cable, you may need to adjust the size of the grommet in order to get the cable through the hole and into the hole on the angle points. One benefit of using this very fine point five millimeter three core flex it's available there in our store is that the outside diameter is really quite small so you can actually fit the grommet over the cable and this is a three core cable it fits very well One of the more difficult jobs when it comes to restoring your 1227 is the actual rewiring of the cable inside of the arm. You can see it's quite a small opening, but these sides are actually quite sharp. So you have to ensure that you fit a grommet to prevent the sides of the arm cutting into the cable. One tip that can make the rewiring a lot easier is to install your grommet onto the cable before you insert it into the arm. Feed it up the arm, ensuring the cable is the correct length at the other end, and then you can start to install the grommet. One thing to note, this is a three core cable so it does not need to have the earth point connected because we intend this cable to run up to the lamp holder where it'll be earthed internally to the bulb holder itself. In some cases, if the cable you have isn't fine enough to fit up the arm, you may find that you have to untwist one strand of cable and run it to the earthen point. So that completely depends on your unique lamp and your cable choice. If you have a plastic double insulated lamp holder like this, then you can dispense with one of the cores in your cable because there's no need to earth this. So this fitting of the grommet would only be over top of two cores, not three, which makes it a little bit easier. But in this case, I'm using a three core cable it's a very fine cable, it took us a long time to find these, but I'm glad we have because it makes the rest of the installation very easy. Ensure that cable is rooted to the correct length and attached to your lamp holder. Then you can start installing the grommets. You want to push one corner in, taking a screwdriver, gently use the side of the screwdriver to ease the lower half of the grommet into the hole. 
ensure that you don't use the very tip of the screwdriver as you run the risk of penetrating the rubber and damaging the electric insulation on the cable. I shall show you that without the You must ensure that the metal of the arm sits snugly into the groove in the grommet so that it won't push all the way through the hole and it won't pull out. Job done. Thanks for watching. I'm Ron from Relight Lamps. Remember the links for all the items we've discussed, both the cable and the grommets, are available at our website www.relightlamps.com See you next time.